Hi everyone! So I know that this is a Q&A video and we're answering all your questions that you sent in but I just wanted to show you we went away for a night in Surrey we had a night off work to celebrate our anniversary we stayed at this beautiful place called Hartsfield Manor in Surrey you guys have to go there if you're in the UK or you're at, like you're close at all it has been so nice to get out of the city and we're just having a cup of tea and some sweet treats before we go seriously amazing and who's this cutie in the background hello handsome hello beautiful this is what you do in the english countryside you have tea and scones we're waiting for our scones aren't we oopsies guys welcome back welcome back welcome back i know it's been some time but we're here we're Trying gonna do this q a um maybe there's beautiful view put all of that in so yeah we're gonna start answering some of your questions that you've been asking us and i know a lot of you've been wondering so join us for tea and scones as we answer all your deepest darkest darkest questions okay what is it this is what we get all the time asking if you're from the philippines and do you speak tagalog yes i am filipino <laughs> and um because i was born in i was born in philippines but i moved to london when i was two so my like, I can't really speak to Tagalog. How old are you guys? Well, Giuseppe's about to turn 22 and I'm four years older than him. So, <laughs> I don't want to say my age. I feel so old. Have you guys ever thought about having kids? Um, just joking. Whatever. We are definitely going to have children one day. <laughs> but yeah, okay, go oh, on. No, Next question. I'm bored. Next question. Let me answer one of the questions. Let me answer one of the questions. Okay. Where did you guys meet her house? <laughs> Literally at my house. A friend um, messaged me and said, Oh, this girl's having a party. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, cool. I brought one of my boys, my neighbor. It was just her and her friend just having a little drink up, whatever. Cool. Some of these questions are hilarious. I want to read it, but I don't think we're going to answer it. If you traded bodies for three days, what would you do for the first day, middle day, and last day? I mean, all three days, I'll just be like... Oh my god. What's this? Oh. Anyway, um... It's not clear. Hmm. How many siblings do you guys have? Uh, I've got three younger siblings. I'm the oldest by like 10 years. It's, what about you? Nice I've got an older brother and he is 29. Our scones are coming. Our scones are coming. Oh. Our scones are coming. Thank you. Thank you oh. so much. Oh my gosh, it looks so nice. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Okay. Hello, how are you? Not bad. Thank you so much. Pleasure. That's for you. Thank you. This looks so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. I agree with you entirely. <laughs> <laughs> Next question for your scones. How tall oh are you both? God. I'm five eight. And I'm five ten. Did you guys go to university? No. I did. I um, when I finished high school, I did a gap year and I travelled a bit. Well, I did have actually a lot of gap years travelling, um, but I have a degree in English English literature. You just cut my I saw a guinea pig in one of your videos. How many do you have and how long have you had them for? So I got, we have four. Oh, I'm like obsessed with guinea pigs. Giuseppe loves them as well. I've grown to love them. They're really nice little creatures, aren't they? We love them. They're like free range guinea pigs. They literally run around and do whatever they want. They're, how long have you guys been together? Today. Officially six months, but we started seeing each other almost a year ago. 28th of November, we made it official, but we've been living together for like eight months. <laughs> if you had to live off one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? For me, my favorite food is like pasta or Mexican, so one of those. Favorite food? Rice? Um, what do we both love? Coriander. We put it on everything. And just sprinkle the coriander on top. Pizza, coriander. Rice, coriander. We Chicken, love coriander. it. 
Um, someone sent me a question the other day saying, are we vegan? We're not vegan, but we do try to... I'm like, yeah. We do try to be. We live a plant-based diet. Um, Giuseppe eats a lot of fish. I don't eat any. We're growing veggies at the moment, so we've been eating a lot of fresh vegetables, which is really nice. Let me answer a couple of questions. Okay. Mm -mm. Why did you start a TikTok? It's kind of cliche. Like, we only made it because, well, she only started taking videos and making you know, compilations of stuff of our relationship because it was fun to do at the start of lockdown. We actually started in like January. And then I guess mm. over time we were getting, you know, a lot of views, a lot of engagement. We were just like, mm. pretty cool. So we started to make more. Started off, well, I just did it, started making cute little videos because I was excited about our relationship and I wanted to share it. And then it kind of took off. And so we just stuck at it. We never really had the intention to start TikTok too get famous or you know get a lot of followers we just done it because it was fun it's something to do isn't it that's what tiktok is yeah it's quite fun mm. doing those little silly videos so following good. the trends and stuff someone asked what tattoos do you guys have oh yeah do you want to see your tattoos you, you can't really see my tattoos because most of mine are on my leg and they're all hidden from you so. i have one two three four five six seven eight nine tattoos Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I want to get my whole sleeves, both my arms, my whole chest, probably my back, some of my torso, and maybe my leg. And my name right across here. We love tattoos. I love tattoos. Mm -hmm. Are we close with our family was another question. We both are really close. I'm real close with our family. Yeah. With our families. Have I met his family? Yes. More tea, my dear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. met my brother, but my parents are in New Zealand and because of all of this COVID and everything, we haven't been able to go over there. They haven't been able to come over here. We're looking to go to New Zealand in January. But no, your dad's coming in August. Yeah, so my dad's coming over in August for three weeks, which I'm excited about. But we're planning on going to New Zealand, hopefully, next January. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, there's quarantine and all that stuff. It's just such Process, a Process, like, we have to quarantine when we get there, which is, like, two weeks. And then, mm -hmm. and then quarantine when we get there. But there's no point. Like, you get there. It takes 24 hours to get there, you guys that know, from, from London. 12 hours to Asia, is it? Yeah. Abu Dhabi or somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere in that area. And then another 12 hours. So that. It's a bit so of a there's trip. really no point going there. And then quarantine and you know it's all that it's just... do we work out i don't this guy loves the gym me not big on fitness fair. my family is not an athletic family so i blame my parents for that i take absolutely no blame for being unfit i mean i used to go gym loads i used to be really really consistent um but i kind of stopped for a year that's kind of my fault because um of course it was in lockdown, it was just at home. I never really was bothered to work out as much. But since gyms are opening, I've gone, you know, I would say a fair amount. Because I'm getting ripped tonight. Bucket list? Hmm? This is my bucket list. You've got a bucket list? Well, hmm. things you want to do mm -hmm. before you die. I want to do like a huge trip around Italy. <laughs> I've been wanting to do that for ages. Get married, have children, have our own house. I'm pretty traditional actually with my dreams. I've never been like super career, like had massive career aspirations. I've always been like my life dreams are around family and having our own family and traveling. Traveling is massive to me. Um, what I say? I know it. I'm, 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 I would say I've got a fear of heights, but I'd actually love to go skydiving. I'd love to go. We went on a roller coaster and this guy vomited. And you want to go skydiving? Yeah, it's because we had cocktails and stuff before. What do you expect? We had the cocktail after it. It was all just plain in my mind, wasn't it? It was all just plain. Yeah, that's what we do for bucket. I don't really have much. I mean, whatever happens, anything makes me happy. You make me happy. You're my bucket list. We've also got um, a lot of people asking us if we work. We do work right now, 
We both have classified. regular nine to fives, just like everyone else. That's classified. Find me if you can. <laughs> we have really flexible hours, so that's why we're able to just still do what we want to do, which is sort of such a good thing to have. Mm. <sighs> so good. I don't even like jam, but this is homemade strawberry jam. It is delicious. I do not like sweet things. Mm -hmm. Everything is homemade. It is, you can tell. All right, last one. Last question. Three things is... each of us love and three things each of us hate. Oh, you go first. Three things you, three things you love. What about each other? What does it say? Just in general. Three things you love. Okay, go. Three things I love. Animals, family, families inclusive. Oh. Yeah, animals, family, food, I guess. Mm. Good food. Good food. You wanna know what I love? I'll put food at first place. The second thing I'd love the most, I'll say is having time to yourself. Like having a day to do anything you want, just being able to relax, like, like, like you're on holiday. You know, you don't have nothing to do, no chores, no one to go work. You're just able to relax, do anything. And that's kind of a weird thing to love. But having your time is really important. Having time to yourself is really important, isn't it? So you um, love relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> um, third thing, I love you and Jim. Because them two are together. Wow. This guy, I take him totally off the list. Three things I hate. I'm not fond of heights either. Absolutely hate heights. The butcher, I will literally gag walking past a butcher. I can't do oh, it. Stinks and I just, <laughs> it's so gross. I can't do it. Anything to do with like poor animal welfare or like hearing anything, you know, all of the terrible stuff going on in the world. Yeah. I'm so, it gets so affected by it. Three things I hate is, you're gonna laugh at this one. <laughs> one of them is like, <laughs> he has a phobia of his own feet. <laughs> no, it's not my own feet. I just, I just wear socks all the time. I can't not wear socks. It's a. Th I, don't, I, I just. You. She hates it. I don't understand. But um. He wears yeah. socks to bed. Comment below if you wear socks when you sleep. Going to the bed, loads of people going. I wear socks to bed. I wear socks to bed. So yeah, that's one of them. Another one is um. Heights. You don't like heights. Height. Yeah, it's not. Not that. Not that. Not, not too bad. Like I think roller coasters are. I can cope with roller coasters and stuff because you're secured. But like, you know when you're at a shopping centre and you're on the third floor and you go closer to the edge and you're like, oh, I start getting butterflies and so, oh. He's so, yeah. not scared of heights, but he doesn't like being on the third floor. Not the third, you know what I mean, like a pretty high up, you know, place. Like, I don't know, it could be a, a fourth floor, a fifth floor, depends how high the floor is. From looking up from there to there from our room, it was not that bad because, I don't know, you could kind of see down. See on the floor this window if you see it so he's not scared of this one i'm not scared of this window guys this is the second floor the second floor is fine as soon as it reaches up here out anyway another one is um <laughs> you're gonna laugh at this one now say if you have a hot meal and you've got <gasps> cold sauce do not put cold sauce next to my hot meal let me give you an example say we're having i don't know a risotto and risotto is good at risotto cool it's warm it's like rice it's sticky it's all all of the whole food is consistently warm do not put like a salad a cold salad with what do you put on salad like salad dressing on top because i can't mix two foods together that like hot and cold it stresses me out man it, oh <laughs> oh it's making me cringe i know it's such a weird thing but you know we all have those weird little phobias 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 whatever so you guys can comment down that below what you guys are <laughs> what afraid do you guys of, think of what, that? You guys... what are some important factors of staying in a relationship we spoke last night about how we think that our relationship is like we've just gotten stronger and stronger together is because we have such good communication with one another and communication is key like like even if we get pissed off at one another and we have an argument or we have a disagreement we have like our space to like calm down or whatever and then we always talk about it we always like, say yeah. i feel this way and or you feel that way like one thing we're really good at is not 
telling the other person how you truly feel about a certain situation or what your what your do's and don'ts or what your boundaries are because at the end of the day if you don't say it you're the other person is never going to know and you're just going to be in your own like your own world of what you want and what you what, what you don't want the other person to do without even communicating you just expect you don't really expect you should tell them first it's always good to communicate because if you don't have communication the relationship is just going to go <coughs> trust me um, i've been there communication is the most important thing in a relationship if she does something to annoy me i will tell her but I don't really care. I don't really care if I'm she gets, never annoying. I don't really care if she gets angry or upset. At least she will know. You know, because I, I rather I, it's not good to bottle things up. It is not good to bottle things up. So will you This is what I mean. This <laughs> key ooh, thing ooh. I would say. Ooh, 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 ooh. How long were we single before we got into a relationship? A day? Ah, uh, just joking. <clears throat> Wait, what was what was the question? What was the question? See, this is us arguing. You know, I just... You done? How single were we? <laughs> how single were we? I mean, how long were we single for before we got into a relationship? I think I was single for about two years. Same, about two years. Both of our relationships before our ones now were long-term relationships, isn't it? Mm. We're going to wrap it up. So that's a wrap for our video. We're going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed our Q&A because we've, we've been getting a lot of questions. We always get asked on our, you know, the comment section. So we try to answer as many questions as we can. We're going to chop the Q&A up, but obviously you won't see this part because it would have been cut out. Oh, yeah. we didn't say where I'm from. I think we already know. I think I'm we from New Zealand, from a small island called Waiheke. If you know it, it's beautiful. If you don't, you need to Get go to there. Know. And I've lived in London for four years. I'm a London boy. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. We really hope you enjoyed our Q&A. Q&As can be boring, but you know, we've got a nice background. <laughs> got thank scones, you guys so tea. Thank you guys so much for watching our Q&A. We've just been transitioning into getting back into work and getting back into our routine. And so it's taken us a little while, but we'll definitely post another vlog shortly. Make sure you follow our Instagram, follow our YouTube, follow our TikTok, follow our personal Instagram. It's all going to be in the, um, in the description below. So don't really want to listen to her. Just got to click it and you'll find it. We so, love yeah. you. We I love, love I mean, I love you, and we love, love you. you. <laughs>